You did a fine job nursing Luke back to health. He owes you. No. The people of this city owe Luke a debt. You seem rather taken with him. He is an extraordinary man. People are whispering his name all over Paris. They are calling him the hero of La Villette. <laughs> Luke's the hero, is that it? I suppose I'm just his chauffeur. Jealous? Bollocks. I promised Luke I'd deliver a package for him. I thought you might like to be my chauffeur for the day. Oh, you want to ride with me? Be glad to. Bon. Meet me out front when you are ready to go. Thanks for the ride. Luke thanks you too. Who is Luke anyway? He's supposed to be somebody famous? Before the war, Luke was one of the most popular authors in France. His family was as rich as royalty. Funny. He doesn't strike me as the posh type. The Nazis declared his writing subversive. They confiscated his property and burned his books. Luke was left with nothing. Is that why he hates him? Luke is not driven by hate. He fights because he loves his country. This will not take long. Need to make the delivery. So why did you wait so long to give us a shout? I mean, I'm glad you did. It's just, well, it's been ages since we hung about like this. I have not been out much since what happened to Jules. Oh. I can understand that. Oh, well it does not seem to have slowed you down much. The girls at the bed tell me you love to drink them all under the bed. Uh, I think you mean under the table. Do I? Well, I'm so glad you sobered up in time to help me with my little errand today. I promise you will not regret it. Let me out here. You sure this is it? This place is crawling with crowds. This will only take a moment. Guten Tag, Fräulein. What is that you have there? Oh, it is just some cheese and wine for Colonel Straub. Straub is the lucky one, yeah? Go right in. You are too kind. Tell me you were planning to set off a fucking bomb. Are you out of your bloody mind? I knew you would try to stop me. You're damn right I put a stop to it. This isn't your fight. I'm going to scrub away this whole blood. What the hell's the matter with you? Now you're using girls to do your dirty work. I haven't used anyone. Those who serve our cause do so because they are patriots. I can't stand that word. I've heard it all my life from men with blood on their hands. This is not a cricket match. We don't wear uniforms, and we don't play by the rules. Every one of us must be ready to do whatever is necessary. I already lost her brother. I'll be damned if I'm gonna lose Veronique as well. She can have no part in this. You once said that Jules was his own man. Well, I am my own woman. Do not presume to tell me what to do. Either of you. Count your enemies, Luke. If anything happens to her, you'll have made one too many.
Monsieur, take this. Right. Thanks. A little bird told me you'd found your way to Paris. Imagine my delight when I learned I'd be nearby on business for a few days. I've booked a lovely flat. Skylar Sinclair. I wondered if you made it out of Saarbrück and alive. I got out just before the shooting started, one step ahead of the Gestapo. We weren't all so lucky. I heard about Jules. I'm so very sorry, Sean. I know how close you were. It's a funny thing. Jerker had it in his head that Jules and I were working for the Brits. Oh? How odd. I reckon he had us mixed up with somebody else. Somebody who was about that race to spy. You always were too clever for a grease monkey. Too clever by heart. Slip me a mickey. Why? Shh, shh, shh. Think of it as a job interview. It's time you considered a new line of work. Good evening, Mr. Devlin. Fuck you, limey bastard. You may call me Bishop. Miss Sinclair dosed you with a mild paralytic. The hangover should be no worse than what you're accustomed to. In that case, fuck you arseways. <laughs> ah, yes. The famous Celtic charm. Small wonder your homeland is such a popular tourist destination. I don't get back much. Perhaps that's because you're a wanted fugitive in your own country. I see you made quite a number of enemies back home. Quite a resume for a man your age. <laughs> well, what are you then? Scotland Yard? Not quite. Of course, we know about your father as well. Tell me, did you ever find out who started the fire? Who the fuck are you people? We are a dagger at the enemy's throat, and the time has come to start cutting. Last time I checked, your lot was losing this war. Is that what you want, Mr. Devlin? To see the whole world fall under the shadow of the Third Reich? I didn't think so. I'd see the Nazis burn in hell for what they'd done. But you still haven't told me why I'm sitting here. You're here because I require a favor from you, Mr. Devlin. In exchange, I will see to it that your criminal records are wiped clean. Not a chance. And deliver Kurt Dierke to you on a silver platter. What is it you want done? The Nazis have been digging at the Lachey Cemetery in Paris. They have unearthed something from one of the crypts. They put it in a box. I want that box here. Miss Sinclair will provide whatever assistance you may require. Huh. What's in the box? The contents of the box are none of your concern. Curiosity killed the cat, Mr. Devlin. The same may be said for indiscreet Irishmen. Ha uh ha. -huh. You got yourself a deal. I'll get your box. And when I get back, you'll tell me where I can find Dierker. You have my word. <laughs> well, we'll find out what it's worth. <laughs> <laughs>